Hi guys, Rich from Art of Smart. We're back here with part two of our sun and battery video. I'm joined again by my good friend Sam from Ovo Renewables. So part one, Sam showed you the installation of the battery. We got to saw how he installed it and give us a little bit of a talk through it. This part two is actually gonna look at the Control 4 integration and probably the best Control 4 driver I have ever seen. So we're gonna take you through it in a minute. We're gonna show you how it adds into the Control 4 system, what features can be programmed about, and we're actually gonna use our special ceiling and DMX lighting in our uh, boardroom up at AS Academy to kind of highlight and emphasize the features. So let's have a look at that driver now. Right, so here we are on our Control 4 project file for Art Smart HQ. So on the left hand side here in our system design, we've actually put a room in for the sun and battery just to make it nice and clear so we have everything together. So what you can actually see here is we've got the web UI, we've got the stats driver, and then we've also put in uh, a couple of icons which will display on the touchscreen to, to go into performance mode, extended mode, and essentials mode. So if I come into the web UI driver, we can see here that on today's date, at 2019, that power is restored to the battery. So we had Sam reboot it, just to bring it all back online and sync it all back up again. We can see the device connection is on. Battery date is currently on loan, but battery level is 59% and it is charging at 0.01 kilowatts. Current profile running is our essential profile. And then battery mode here, we can set with one of your self-consumption backup power time of use. So different features on there. And we can set a battery reserve level which again can be programmed again. So if I wanted battery alert reserve level to say be 50%, we could then program additional alerts when the battery level dropped below that. Coming further down here to the energy events, we've got alerts, we've got alert because the grid's been lost, so mains is off, we've got normal, the uh, actual solon's gone offline for some reason, or to, to display the status. And then the weather alerts, so again, because Sonony is a worldwide manufacturing distributor of, of the battery products, we've got weather alert types, hurricane, thunderstorm warning, tornadoes, blizzards, winter uh, storm warning, tropical storm warning, and floods. So if weather is activated, we could also set a battery reserve level, which I, f I find is absolutely incredible. So if it got a weather report that a hurricane was coming, we could have it charge the battery up to 100% and not discharge anything within the into the property, which is mental. Um, coming further down here to weather, current alerts, we can see there's no current alerts, which is always nice. Um, in the UK, we're quite prone to floods, especially here in York. Um, so we really want that battery to be 100%. We can even come down here and cloudy weather at the time to charge is adjusted. And we've got some settings there for that. And also the amount of cloud cover level. We've got some information down here where we can put the customer's email address, a service center's email address. So that would probably be a control for dealer or your renewable specialist. Um, set the uh, eco links alert there in the subject. And then we've got what the UI button is doing uh, and which control for navigators want to show it out and how often the driver will pull. So we've got that set down at three seconds. So the additional driver we've got down here, the stats is very similar, but we've just got it doing different things on the touchscreen. So we can see there, currently we've got it discharging at 1.14 kilowatts. And I've actually got an alert set up to my email address here. Um, that's gonna send me an alert if something goes wrong with it. Coming through here, so to the performance, this is a Sonnen profile, and the profile can actually be uh, programmed against in the Control 4 system. So coming through, looking at the driver properties, we've got last update when it's been, been uh, the state has changed. So we've gone in for performance, extended, and essentials. So what you could do against those when those profiles are activated is change things within the Control 4 system, turn off lights, turn off televisions, change lighting down to a lower percentage and then profile events when it's activated, deactivated, or we can display the status. The UI button can work on a single tap, which we've got it toggling the profile. We've got a double tap doing nothing. And then the icon star, we've got a selection of colors to pick from here. So on this instance, we're using red. Now, what I'll actually do is I'll show you on the control for touchscreen. This is our Sonom room. So we've got our essentials, performance, and extended. Now, I'm not sure which of you have seen before our special ceiling at AOS HQ. However, it's got a fancy DMX control lighting. So for the purposes of being able to show you exactly how things work, and we've had the colors in the room change to change the status depending on what mode we've got activated. I'll come through and show you on here. 
we have weather. This is a control for kind of standard feature that we can have a look on there what the weather is. So coming up to winter now in the UK, so it's 14 degrees. We're in for a real good treat this weekend on the weather, but this could be some of the data that the driver pulls through, um, as well as the weather report based on postcode. Let's have a look at this, the Solon Ecolinks. So when I actually open that up there, it's gonna launch a web UI, and that is giving me a live status there from the Solon dashboard. So you can see production from any solar panels, which at the moment we've not got solar panels, just pre-wired for them. Um, we can see what we're taking from the grid, which is 0.034 kilowatt, 0.09. Again, this driver is gonna pull every three seconds to update the data. We have the charge power, which would be coming from the production or it'd be coming from the grid. And then we can see the battery percentages here, as well as the discharging power. So really good dashboard. Coming through into the system menu, that's gonna bring us through there. We've got the time, we've got the model, we've got the serial number and MAC address of it. We have the storage capacity, which we've got five kilowatts. We've got the inverter power, the hardware version, the firmware version, the software version, basically getting loads of information from that. Finally, down here, we have a settings. So we can change the operating mode from self-consumption, time of use, or we could use the module extension. We've got the backup buffer settings. So I've just set that as 50% within the control for driver, which is set that as 50% in here. And then our time and use settings, we could literally change that directly through there, which would update within the control for system. So let's have a look at these options here. Essentials performance extended. Now, if you were trying to use Eco features within your smart home, coming back onto the control for system, and I'll have a look what we've got programmed back against this. So when we have performance mode, um, enhanced, we could have that pulling through certain things, which we're gonna look at in a minute when I program those on. But essentially what we've set the programming up to do is that when essentials mode is selected, we have that turn in the room here blue. If we're going into performance mode, it's gonna turn it red. And then in extended mode, that's gonna turn the room green. Um, I will just come back on this and we're gonna take you back through here and show you what's possible to program against. This one here, probably my favorite, we have grid power outage. So what the grid power outage is gonna do, again, for the purposes of the video, it's gonna turn off the special ceiling, but let's pretend this was a house. So we could have, collapse the rooms, we could have it turning off, rooms within the property, so say the media room would turn off, which is gonna turn the television off. We may have the kitchen turn off, which will turn off any audio, any of our AV zones, again, to keep that power consumption down. But look in here, we press the off button, which can do the these strips, but we have two hidden strips. Now, what this could actually be is lighting in standby. So when this executes here, which is basically gonna simulate a power outage, what that's done is actually it's turned the room and it's put us back onto a setback feature, which is just turn the lights back to some essential lighting. Now, when the power outing is restored and the lights come back on, Again, we've done something different in here just to have a bit of fun with it. But again, just show anything is possible. When the power is restored, we have had our ceiling create party mode, which is basically changing all the colors, um, which if your power just been restored during a blizzard would probably not what you'd do, uh, but you could have that returning lights to normal. We come through to our essentials profile and when profile has been activated, we're gonna have it set the lights in the house, the building, wherever you are, um, set them back to essentials, which is what we have activated when there's a power cut. Now that could be turning off all the lights in the building, apart from some essential lights onto a low percentage. And again, the battery would be discharging and feeding that even if you didn't have grid power. This driver I said before, I was really impressed with it. So if I have a look down here at the driver properties, we've got this set here. We can program against grid power outage when grid power comes back on. If the battery is discharging, if it's charging, if the battery levels change, if the battery reserve level has changed, if the battery mode has changed, the grid voltage change, house consumption change, solar production change, solar production creation starts, stops, time remaining change, driver communication failed, the energy alert, the weather alert, weather alert ended, all weather alerts end and cloud cover level received. Like, pfft. I've never seen so much detail through a control Ford driver. The guys over at Syntegration have done a brilliant job on this. Um, so that's what we can program against on here. So very, very comprehensive driver. Um, we're just gonna show you a few of these other features from here, such as the mobile phone alerts. But say if my mobile phone was shut off then, 
and somebody in the house had create, put us onto essentials mode. Um, so that has turned the lighting in here onto blue and we've just had a notification there from the control four driver. Didn't want to open that. Saying there, the Ecolinks Energy Alert home is now set to essentials mode. This happened at 8.46 p.m. So really accurate data, really fast on the alerts. If I put it back into extended mode, again, we're gonna get a notification there. That Ecolinks Energy Alert home is now set to extended mode. When we have a power outage or when power has been restored, we'll get an email alert. So you can see here as we've been testing it, that same alert is gonna come through from your control for smart home telling you that the power has been restored. Really comprehensive driver, really, really impressed with it to be fair. I've never seen a driver that can give you this level of detail um, and this level of control and alerts and especially that fast. Um, so yeah, exciting times. So now I've shown you the driver working in all its glory. We'll show you it here so you can get the effects from the back of the wall. So what we've got here, if we go into this one, it's going to change all the room a different colour. Coming across into this mode, and you can see it set it all down red. In the essentials mode, you may want to have, obviously, the power running for as long as possible. So AV devices such as TVs, when that mode is activated, may actually turn off. And then when power is restored, what we've had the ceiling done is it's going to chase through all the DMX colours and we've had that TV turn back on. So really, really good driver, coupled with the alerts on the app, um, what it does through the touchscreen, the web UI, the, the driver itself, the weather alerts. I'm really, really impressed. Yeah. Happy days. Hi guys. Sorry. <laughs> Just shut up, sit there, look pretty. <laughs> That's a really good one for a bloopers roll. <laughs>